Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. So, a lot of you guys have been requesting that I make a video on this whole H&M situation. I don't want to do it. Uh, this video, as you guys saw, is called On Systems, which I know seems like a really broad fucking title, but hopefully as the video goes on, you'll understand why I called it that and what the, this all has to do with this whole like H&M situation. I didn't want to do a video on this situation because, like, number one, I kind of feel like the reaction to it was overblown and opportunistic. Um... It just made me really uncomfortable. Something about it made me really uncomfortable. And I also stopped doing videos on a lot of this type of shit, like, you know, like kind of click clickbaity, clickbaity rage click type of stuff. Um, unless there's something specific about it that I personally find noteworthy because I feel like I feel I feel like a couple ways about like these types of situations. Like I have a personal investment in hating Bruno Mars, as we all know. So, like, I, like, have to say something about the fucking Bruno Mars thing. <laughs> like, you know, like, and there's, and there's, like, certain things about that that I still find noteworthy, that I still find interesting in, like, a larger, like, broader sense of systems and the way that systems, like, work. I feel like a lot of the times the way that we, like, talk about these situations allows us to kind of continue to look at these incidents as individual circumstances rather than as examples of a larger system at play, which I've also said in previous videos when talking about police brutality and the way that we talk about like these like individual instances of police brutality and the way that people love to say like it was just one bad apple. Like the whole saying is one bad apple spoils the bunch, right? So we, we kind of like have this tendency to look at things on this like micro level instead of on the macro level and like seeing like the whole like fucking ecosystem of like fuck shit like H&M for example like it's not just H&M it's Zara it's Urban Outfitters it's a whole ecosystem right and but it's easy to latch on to this one individual circumstance and be so pissed off about this one individual circumstance, which as I already said, I feel like a lot of a lot of this is overblown and opportunistic on the behalf of people that I don't know, basically want to make money and get more famous off of this situation, which I've also made videos about previously about fucking fucking tabloid activism, ambulance chasers, you know, people that they don't want things to change. They don't want us to look at larger systems because they don't want us to dismantle those systems because then they'd be out of a job, right? They wouldn't have shit to talk about, right? So this whole situation kind of gave me that vibe. And at the same time, like I said, it also kind of like, gave, like, like, I just don't, I don't like talking in a lot of ways about like individual shit because it just makes it so easy to like, again, like look at it as, as, indicators of a system that's broken like we have okay we have a tendency to look at fucking situations like the H&M thing right as as indicators as like individual instances or as indicators of a system that's broken not as things that are part of a larger system that works instead of an indicator of like a whole ecosystem that is perfectly designed and working it is not an individual fucking circumstance. It is not an indicator of a broken system. It is an indicator of a system on systems that is perfectly designed and working. And after a certain point, these conversations, in my opinion, as always, just my opinion, stop being productive and they start becoming reductive. And I feel like this conversation was reductive. The only thing that I saw productive come out of it were the people that said instead of you know oh you're gonna boycott h&m that's great fine wonderful instead of shopping at h&m like here are some black owned businesses that you can support right like tore um who i met 2016 at uh he, he's like on serious like a radio show he's like a rapper he's dope he's amazing like i met him in 2016 at this like huff post like black voices thing and then i just like kept running into him like i ran into him at south by southwest and then when we were like leaving South by Southwest, he was like sitting right behind me on the plane. And he's like, dope. 
he had like posted some shit on Instagram that was like, yeah, I saw the H&M thing, but like rather than like give that shit more traction. And I also felt some type of way about people like circulating this kid's picture, this kid's like picture around. And he was like, you know, rather than give that more traction and continue to like circulate that image that people, you know, find so offensive or whatever, which I felt that was like really overblown, but okay. He was like, instead I'm going to like, big up the black owned brands that I know that I like to wear, like maybe give me something to support, which I thought was like, great. Like that is productive instead of reductive instead of, Oh my God, like H and M is racist, right? Like at a certain point, And I put this on Twitter. I was like, at a certain point you have to just like really come to the conclusion that like whites are going to motherfucking white, like whites are going to white. These white corporations are going to white. These white companies, these white conglomerates, these venture capitalists, like they're going to do what they're designed to do on systems. We're talking about systems, capitalist systems, racist systems, excuse me, sexist systems, infrastructure, hierarchy that was designed, perfectly designed a certain way and is working, right? Instead of thinking of it as, again, indicators of a system that's broken or individual instances of a failed system, individual instances of racism. No, it's part of a larger ecosystem that is working. Um, and so just like I said in my fucking beginning of the year video, which is like the question of the year is like, how do we eject from these systems? What exists outside of them? How do we get around them instead of kind of continuing to empower them really in this weird way. Like I saw people also saying like, oh, you know, this is like the new marketing strategy, like black anger and outrage is like the new marketing strategy and like blah, 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 which like, no, like I literally have a video from like 2014 or 2015, like three, four years ago, literally called like hipster racism and trolling for rage clicks. Like, no. It's not a new thing. It's not a new strategy. It's not a new system. It's not a broken system. It's not an individual instance. Like everything old is new again. <laughs> and it's, it's cyclical. It's continued to happen. It's going to continue to happen. And since like this kind of isn't a new strategy, I feel like our strategies have to become new and have to change. Speaking of fucking Twitter, I saw this really great quote that said, like, you know, it said, like, the future belongs to groups that are not static, that can grow and change. And I totally agree. And I feel like that's groups, that's individuals. Like, you have to be able to kind of, like, go with the flow and think creatively and come up with new ideas and new concepts and new ways of doing things. Because, like, again, like, these are systems that are perfectly designed, that are perfectly working. They're not, they're not new strategies. They're old strategies that have always worked and that have continued to work. So how are we going to change, right? How are our strategies going to change? And again, there's people that don't want no new strategies because they just want to fucking, you know, talk to you and like rile you up because that makes money, right? And so I just feel like there's three options, basically. Sorry, I got an email. I feel like there's three options, basically, which is like, One, like systems are working. So with that in mind, instead of the mindset that the system is like broken or that this is some type of individual incident that's not part of a large system at all, look at it like, okay, systems are working. They're perfectly designed. What, what can I do? It's like you have three options. One, you can go with it. You could just give up. You could bury your head in the sand. You could go. Two, you could work to change it either from within the system or outside of it which I feel like is risky because that's like a classic fucking, that's like a classic storytelling trope. The person that has all the best intentions in the world that they almost practically motherfucking go undercover and they end up, you know, getting caught up and like swept away. Three, your third option, my personal favorite, flip the fucking table to eject from the system and or break it. I feel like those are the options. So I don't get any type of gratification from this, any of this, any of this, any of this, this situation, the way that people are talking about it, like, unless you're gonna fucking, and again, I put this on Twitter too, I was like, at a certain point, you have to realize that white people gonna white, and you're gonna have to decide, sticking with like, within the framework of like the H&M situation, you have to decide what are you gonna do with your money? Like, are you gonna fucking spend it at H&M? Are you gonna spend it somewhere else? Are you gonna fucking spend it with Dove? Are you gonna spend it somewhere else? 
Are you going to fucking spend it with Pepsi? Are you going to spend it somewhere else? Are you going to spend it with Unilever? Are you going to take the extra steps to like look up all the brands that are owned by Unilever? Are you going to spend it somewhere else? Like, what are you going to do? Like, what choices are you going to make? Are you going to go with it? Are you going to work to change it? Or are you going to eject and or break it? I already made my decision, as everybody knows. Like, I'm all about, like, supporting Black-owned businesses whenever I can, supporting small businesses whenever I can, instead of supporting these fucking conglomerates and shit, like, and, and these fucking companies. I mean, and we could even get into, like, the ethics of, like, H&M and, like, fast clothing and, like, all that shit. But it's just, like, at a certain point, like, you have to decide what you want to do. Like, Torre said, like, yes, I saw it. I'm making the choice that instead of, like, posting that shit on my page, I'm going to, like, put these fucking other businesses that I know of, like, on. So, because these systems already exist, again, they've existed for fucking centuries, they were perfectly designed, and they are still working, and these strategies are still working, and, and again, like, the fucking black outrage for click shit is also not new, like, like, it's, it's just all about changing, and adapting, and figuring out what are you gonna do for yourself, like, 2018 like what exists outside of the system what are you going to do for yourself what choices are you going to make with your time and your energy and your money and what you're going to support and like how you're going to interact with these systems that are not broken no and that these are not individual incidents because I've also seen people be like oh my god it's like I can't shop anywhere it's like I can't do anything it's like no you cannot because they're all part of larger systems so you kind of have to come to terms with that and decide what the fuck you're going to do. So that's what this video is called on systems. That's what I think about that. Um, there will, of course, like I already said, be related videos in the description box. Um, links in the description box. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Food for thought as always. See you guys next time. Peace.